It would become a duel for the ages. Hillbilly banjos versus books in a library. In the spring of 73, dueling banjos became a hit and musical truth paid a price. All through the years that I started to learn to play the banjo, people would yell out, squeal like a pig. Six months later, a music librarian typed out a paper that she'd researched for 20 years. The banjo, she wrote, came from Africa with slaves. For many, those were fighting words. People I know have received even death threats from some of these people. You want to go back to the good old days? You, baby. Which good old days are you talking about? It's, it's not only that she went there, that she, she did the banjo research, but also that she dared to do the banjo research. And to think that it was done by this little lady that, you know, who just looks so unassuming. It took another 20 years for Dina Epstein to emerge the winner of the banjo duel. There is no question that Dina Epstein's work settled the question that enslaved people brought the banjo to the new world. Uh, I wish that this book was in every home.